Hey guys, welcome back to another video, guys. Guys, today's video we're gonna be presenting Week Eight of the NFL this season. So let's get to it. So we got Baker Mayfield versus Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, and we got Mike Evans. Two of the best teams ever. They both made the playoffs last year. We already know that. These two are gonna be fighting back and forth. I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. It's gonna be a good game for both of them. But you guys already know who I got. You guys already know this game's gonna be really close. But for this one, guys, I have this. I have this one gonna be all. It's going to be all bear. It's going to be all Bills. So it's going to be 17 to 34 Bills because Bills, they're just too good. They are just going to keep fighting to the very end and they're just going to pull away probably in the second half. And the Buccaneers, they just can't catch up. So let's talk about the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Pittsburgh too. So you guys know Jacksonville Jaguars. They also made the playoffs last season, a 9 8 record. But guys, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they also had a 9-8 record, and they were also doing that pretty good. And I really thought they were going to make the playoffs, but they didn't. So, this is where I think, this is where I think the Steelers can finally smell the revenge. And guys, they this is the, this is the game that is going to be on everyone's heel. If you guys are a Jacksonville Jaguars fan or a Steelers fan, I'm going to throw it out there, guys. This game is huge. But for this one, guys, uh, it's going to be really close. I'm going to throw out there. It's going to be really, really close. So for this one, guys, I have this one going to be going the Steelers' way. And I'm going to tell you guys why. The reason why I picked the Steelers winning the Jacksonville Jaguars game, because, as I said before, they didn't make the playoffs last year. They were they were so close to the wild card spot, but they didn't make it. So that's why I think this is where Pittsburgh Steelers can smell the redemption of getting that win against the Jaguars because that's what they deserve. They deserve to get the win and smell their redemption. So I got the Pittsburgh Steelers winning 23-20. Next, we got the Jets. Next, no, sorry guys. Next, we got the Jets and we got the Giants. So we got Zach Wilson. If you guys already know, we if you guys already know, you guys already saw Aaron Rodgers. Uh, practicing throwing on the field and leave a comment below guys let me know if you think his season's done um i'm hoping it's not um i'm praying it's not because i really thought i really thought he was gonna help the jets go all the way to the super bowl but we'll find out but for this one guys we got zach wilson versus uh daniel jones which fortunately his neck was out but i think he'll be okay we'll find out but for this one guys uh it's gonna be another good game uh two, it's not gonna be a good game but it's gonna be a close game two of the not so good teams but for this one, guys, this one, guys, it's going to be, I'm going to throw it out there. Hold on, guys. I'm making sure. This one, guys, it, it's going to be all, oops, sorry, guys. Hold on. Make sure I got it right. Okay, there you go. I'm going to throw it out there, guys. It's going to be all Jets' way. The Giants, they're just too much. I mean, they lost 9-14 to against the Bills on Sunday Night Football, if you guys watched. And they also lost, they also lost to, um, they also got shut out against the Dallas Cowboys on opening night, Sunday Night Football. Ah, I don't know, man. I mean, Jets, they can just clean up the Giants. The Giants are just going to lose again because I don't think I don't think this is their year. I don't think they're going to go that far. Um, maybe they'll do better next season, but for week for week eight of their game, I think the Jets are just going to pummel them. So I got the Jets winning 24-10. So next, we got the Texans and we got the Panthers. So if you guys don't know, Tex versus Panthers. Um, ah. I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. So we got CJ Stroud versus uh, Bryce Young. So two of the two of the first round picks. We got the first round selection and we got the second round. So we got Bryce Young versus CJ Stroud. I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. Look at the look at the rankings I had them. One and both one and five. I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. Three and three and zero oh and six. Ha! Huh. You guys already know. You guys already know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good game. I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna throw it out there. It's not gonna be that good. It's not going to be good for the number one pick. I'm going to throw it out there. I think the Panthers are going to regret taking, are going to regret taking Bryce Young because if they took C.J. Stroud, I bet you that C.J. Stroud would help the Panthers go on go to a four and three, four and three record like they have the like he has the Texans. And if the Texans got Bryce Young, uh, they'll be zero and six like the Panthers. So I'm going to throw it out there, guys. I'm going to say the Panthers. I think reject of not taking C.J. Stroud on the first overall pick because. The, the Texans, you already saw them. They're 3-3. Three and three. They're pushing. They are in 500 rank right now. If they win in Week 7, I'm not sure if they're playing. I'm pretty sure they are. Wait. Yeah, I think they are. Yeah, guys, I'm going to throw it out there. If the Texans win Week 7, I'm going to throw it out there, guys. The Texans are going to probably get for the playoffs. I'm going to throw it out there, guys. I said before, the Panthers are going to reject taking. the Yeah, the Panthers are going to reject taking Bryce Young. So I got the Texans winning 30-31-21 uh, Texans. 
So next, we got the Eagles and we got the Commanders, two of the best teams ever. So we got two of the NFC West or East, whatever that is, NFC what NFC showdown. So we got the Eagles and we got the uh, Commanders. So if you guys already know, the Eagles and the 49ers officially lost both games. Uh, they both the both they both lost on sun on Sunday, which kind of sucked for me. But I really thought they wouldn't win. But whatever. But for this one, guys, I got the Eagles. I got I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. It's gonna be a good game for both of them teams. It's, it's gonna be good for both of them. But for this one, guys, ah, even even though even though Pitt, even though Eagles lost that game, I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. Ah, ah, it, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good game. But for this one, guys, as I said before. Since I since I saw the Eagles losing that one against the um against the Jets, I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. The Jets, I mean, oh sorry guys, I'm stuttering. I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. The Eagles, they don't they don't need to panic. I don't care if they lost; they're gonna rebound and get a win against the Commanders and go on to a six and one or a seven and one seven and one record because it doesn't matter if they lose. It doesn't matter if the Eagles lose one game or not. Maybe two. Maybe three. I don't care. It doesn't matter how much games they lose. They're gonna get back on track with the wins, and they're gonna make it. They're gonna make a hunt for the division by week to go right to the division. They're gonna get that spot again. I bet you that. I want to bet you a million dollars that the Eagles are gonna get that division spot. So next, we got the Rams and we got the Cowboys. So we got two of the best. We got Stafford. We got uh, Prescott. We got Cup. You know, Donald, ah, it's going to be another good game. So we got Battle of L.A. versus Texas. And for you guys, we're, they're in Texas. And for this one, guys, ah, whew, I'm going to throw it out there, guys. It's going to be another good game, I thought. It's going to be another really, really good one. But for this one, oops, sorry, guys, sorry, guys. But for this one, guys, ah, I've been going back and forth on this. And it's going to be a really close game, really close. Ah, I think... I'm gonna throw it out. I'm trying to think of it, but I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be 23, 24 Cowboys because Cowboys are just gonna beat the LA Rams by one point. You guys already know I'm not a Stafford guy anymore. Stafford, he's been a quarterback for 12 seasons. I was proud of that, but right now he's in LA. I'm not his fan anymore. Um, and guys, I'm gonna be posting a video about. What happened? I want to be posting a video about what I've what I've been doing for the past twelve seasons I had with them, and the past three seasons I had I had with golf. So I'll be posting that up. I'll be posting that maybe around, maybe next week, maybe tomorrow. We'll find out. But I'll let you guys know. But for the, right now, I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. Stafford and the cut. Stafford and Rams. They are gonna lose to Dak Prescott by one point because it's gonna be. I told you guys, it's gonna be a close game. But ah. Uh, I just think Prescott can do it. I I think Prescott can finish the Rams off. They're gonna drop to three and five, and the Cowboys are gonna go to five and two with their bye week, with their bye week this week. And yeah, I just have a feeling that the Cowboys are just gonna beat the Rams 23-24 at the home stadium. So let's talk about the Vikings and we got the Packers. So two of the good, two of the best teams ever. So we got the NFC North showdown, and uh, ah, we got Jordan Love, we got Kirk Cousins, we got Christian Watson, we got T.J. Hawkinson. Two of the good, two of the best teams ever. <laughs> but I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. It's gonna be another good game. I'm gonna throw it out there. It is gonna be a, another good one. I'm gonna throw it out there. It is gonna be a really good one. So for this one, guys, ah, I'm gonna throw it out there. It's gonna be not that good of a game, but also not that good for the Packers either. So for this one, guys, it's not going to be a good game for either team. But I'm going to throw it out there. I'm on the Vikings side on this one. I got the Vikings winning 21-17 to against the Packers because they're just that good. Um, the defense is playing pretty well. Um, they hold the Bears to a 19-13 win. Uh, Kirk Cousins, he he knows what he's doing. Jordan Love, he knows what he's doing too. But with that defense on the Vikings side, I have a feeling that they're going to get to Jordan Love. Is, I think they're going to get to Jordan Love a lot of times. And it's going to sack them. And I think those are the cases why the Vikings are going to win this game. Okay, guys. Next, we got the Falcons and we got the Titans. So two of the good, two of the good teams. We got the NFC versus the AFC. So for this one, guys, we got the Falcons and we got the Titans. So two of the best teams ever. So for this one, guys, I don't really have much to say. We got Ryan Tannehill. We got Falcons quarterback. Ah, it's going to be at Tennessee. I know that we all know that for a fact. And for this one, guys, it's going to be a really good game. I'm going to throw it out there. So for this one, guys, ah. Whew, this is tough. Um, damn. I, th 
think I'm going to do 21 Falcons and 20 to Titans because I just have feel that the Falcons can do it. I think they can edge out the Titans just barely, but you guys already know, a win's a win. So I think the Falcons are going to beat the Titans 21 to 20 because I think, I think they have it. I think they have the control over that game. Because they're just that good. And look at their record. This look at their record. They're three and three. Titans are two and four, I think. But you know, but you know, anything happened. But for me, I got the Falcons winning 21-20 in week eight. So we got the Patriots, we got the Dolphins. So six times Super Bowl champion. Uh, yeah, six times Super Bowl champions. Um, six times Super Bowl champion Tom Brady. Uh, fortunately he left. Fortunately he retired. Versus so we got Mac Jones and Tugabayola. I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. Patriots have been going downhill at this point. And I'm going to throw it out there. It's just going to get worse. It's just going to get worse and worse. So for this one, guys, I got the Patriots 14. And I got the and I got the 49ers. Oh, not that. Not that. I got the point. I got the Dolphins 35 because Dolphins, they can just smoke the Patriots. Because the Patriots, they're not playing that good of a football than I thought they would be. So for this one, guys, I got the Patriots 14. I got the Dolphins 35. And I got Tugga Biola and the Dolphins and Tyree Kill and uh, win this game because, you know, and guys, if you guys want to know, if you're a Dolphins fan, watch out for Tyree Kill because when he gets a touchdown, he will do that backflip. You guys better watch out for that. So for this one, guys, I got the Dolphins 35 and I got the Patriots 14. Next, we got the we got the Saints and we got the Colts. So two of the best two of the best quarterbacks. We got Derek Carr versus uh, the Colts. And... Ah, it's going to be a good game. Um, it's going to be a really good game. Um, I'm tr I'm trying to go back and forth on who's going to win, uh, who's going to lose. But for this one, guys, like, I already know who's going to win. I don't, I already know who's going to win each game, but I'm not sure what the score is going to be. That's the thing I'm in trouble with. But for this one, guys, I got, ah, I got the... I got the Saints 21, and I got the Colts 17 because the Saints can just hold on to the... I think Saints have good defense, and they can just hold on to the Colts getting only 17 points. And, yeah, so I just have a feeling that the Colts are going to have a tough time. And, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I got the... Yes, yeah, so I got the Colts 17, I got the Saints 21. All right, guys, so next we got the... Browns and we got the Seahawks. So two of the best quarterbacks ever. So we got the Brown. Well, I well actually let's reverse this. We got Gmo. We got Gmo Smith. And you guys, can you believe the Browns beat the 49ers? And I did not expect that. I bet all Browns fans. No, I bet all 49ers fans, all Browns fans were shocked at that. And I cannot believe the 49ers kicker ended their 15 winning streak. Wow. But for this one, guys. Um. Uh, the Browns, they they better just enjoy this win because I'm just gonna throw it out there they are just gonna they're just gonna lose this game. So for this one, I got the Seahawks 20 31 and I got the Browns 21. I know I got the Seahawks 31 and I got the Browns 21 because ah uh, Seahawks they're just that good. Gmo Smith he knows how to control that ball. He finds his he finds his targets every time, and that's why they made the playoffs. Fortunately, they knocked my Lions out, but um yeah. But for this one, guys, I got the Seahawks 31, and I got the Browns 21. They're going to, the Browns are going to fall again, and the Seahawks, they're just going to keep rising up to get that first spot. They're going to get that first spot against the uh, 49ers. So for this one, guys, so we got the Browns, so we got the Bengals, and we got the 49ers. So this is for four. Two of the undefeated teams that I had my record in. But for this one, guys, ah. <sighs> I, I obviously don't know. I obviously do not know, guys. Ha. Huh. Going to be a good game. Um, Joe Burrow versus Brock Purdy. Ah. Uh, this is going to be a good one. I'm going to throw out there. It's going to be a really good one. If you guys if you guys already think it's going to be a good one, leave a like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. It's going to be a good one. Um, hmm. I think... You guys know. You guys know. I, I think the bang. I wanted the Bengals to win the Super Bowl, which I think they're gonna make the playoffs. And I think they're gonna make the Super Bowl too, and they're gonna win it. Oh, the, I think the Bengals are gonna win. Oh, I st guys. I want to tell you guys something. I think the Bengals and the Lions are gonna be the ones making the Super Bowl, and it's gonna be coming down to the best teams. But for this game, guys, we got the Bengals and we got the 49ers. But for this one, guys, I'm on the. I want to be on the Bengals side, but no, 
I'm on the 49ers side on this one. They're going to win by three points by a field goal because it's them. Brock Purdy, that kicker, we all know he missed. We all know it sucked. But he'll be back on his track. He'll get all the he'll get all the field goals good, and he'll just keep winning. They'll just keep winning. So for this one, guys, I got the Bengals 28, and I got the 49ers 31. All right, guys, next. So we got the Chiefs, and we got the Broncos. So two of the best. So we got the Super Bowl champs versus Russell Wilson. And you guys already know, I'm on Chiefs' side all day. So um, they're tough. I mean, people already say, NFL, they like Patrick Mahomes. They like Travis Kelsey. And you guys already know. If you are a Patrick Mahomes fan or a Kelsey fan that they're on the same team, you better hold your breath. You better hope they don't get hurt. But for this one, guys, uh, I'm gonna throw it out there. You guys already know my. You guys already know my score predictions. You guys already know it. It's gonna be 34. It's gonna be 34 to 20. I mean, Russell Wilson. He is gonna. I mean, hold on, guys. Hold on. Make sure I got right. Yep. So I'm gonna throw it out there, guys. So we obviously know Russell Wilson. He is gonna give. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs, not an easy win. He's going to keep fighting. But I'm going to throw out there, there will be a day that Patrick Mahomes, it will be a close game to the first for the first half, but for the second half, Patrick Mahomes is just going to pull away. He's going to connect with Travis Kelsey, and that's why the Chiefs are just going to pull away at the final seconds of the game, and that's why they're going to win 34-20 against Russell Wilson. Next, we got the Baltimore Ravens and we got the Arizona Cardinals. And I'm going to throw it out there, guys. Another good game. We got Lamar Jackson. We got the Cardinals. Even though we got the ex-kicker, Matt Prater, on the Cardinals, unfortunately, the Cardinals, that's not that good. And unfortunately, Odell Beckham Jr., Lamar Jackson, finally, they, finally locked up, they finally locked them up. It's going to be that. It's going to be good. I mean, they got, I mean, they got John, they got John Hobo. Of the Michigan's brother, uh, Michigan Michigan's head football coach, uh, Jim Hallball. John Hallball, he's gonna win this game. Unfortunately, we all know that he's gonna win this. It's gonna be thirty-one. It's gonna be thirty-one to seventeen, Ravens. Because you know it's gonna be a good game. It's a, it's like I don't know. It's gonna be like let's say. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's let's just say that the car. Let's just say the Cardinals. They're going to give it a good fight, but Ravens, they're not going to panic. They're just going to pull. They're just going to keep doing what they do. They're just going to keep doing what they do best and finally get their seventh win in week eight. So they're just going to win. They're just going to win this game 31-17 because the Cardinals, they just don't have it in them. They just don't not have their, they just don't not have them in them to win this game. Next, we got Justin Fields and we got the Chargers. And unfortunately, guys, it's Sunday Night Football. And for this one, guys, uh, 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 it's going to be a good game. That's how I guaranteed. So for this one, guys, we got the Bears and we got the Chargers. So for this one, guys, uh, it's going to be a good game. I'm going to start. It's going to be a really good game. <sighs> for this one, guys, I have the Bears 17, and I got the rate. I got the Chargers 24 because it's just me. It's just me that the Bears are just going to lose against the Chargers on Sunday football against a touchdown. And the Chargers, they're just going to get that sixth win in Week 8. And hopefully hopefully they can keep pushing in. Hopefully making a run to the playoffs. For the Bears, ah, they fall to 4-4. Four and four, But they will keep fighting away. Um, maybe they'll interest me in, in Week 9 next week or a few days after that. But for this one, guys, I just got the Bears falling 17-24 and 24 against the Chargers. And guys, the game I've been waiting for all day. Raiders and the Lions. So Monday Night Football. Hold on, guys. I'm going to do that. So we got the Raiders and we got... Hold on, guys. It's the single focus. Single focus. Damn. So for this one, guys. So we got the Raiders and we got the Lions. Five and two teams. A five and two team and a two and five record against these two teams. Monday Night Football. We got Jimmy Garoppolo. We got Jared Goff. Two of the best quarterbacks ever. And unfortunately, I guys told you that the Lions were going to lose against the Ravens in Week 8. I'm going to throw it out there, guys. They're going to rebound. They're going to rebound for this one. So for this one, guys, they are going to dominate on night games. The Lions are, and I'm going to throw it out there. It's going to be 31. It's going to be, oh, let's see. Let's see. It's going to be 31-24 Lions because I'm on night football because we, I, I told you guys this before. The, any team's not going to give the Lions a good win. They're not gonna. They're not gonna let them have an easy breezy win. The Raiders. They're gonna keep fighting. They're gonna keep fighting to the end. 
So for this one, guys, I got the Lions. The Lions, I don't think I don't think I need to panic. I don't I don't think guys need to panic if you guys are a Lions fan. The Lions, they're just gonna push it. They're just gonna push the, like every night game. Let's say Sunday night, Monday night, Thursday night, every night game that they play, they have never lost. They are undefeated at night games. And with that out there, they're gonna keep their undefeated night game alive in week eight. So yeah. So guys, uh, that's gonna be wrapping up for this one. Uh, leave a, leave a comment below if my score predictions are really good. Uh, let me know if the teams are right. If the teams I think that are gonna win week eight are right, um, leave a comment below if they're not. Uh, just let's just say this. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Okay, I gotta move that. Okay, there we go. But guys, just let me know. Just let me know if I did a good job. Let me know if I did horrible. Uh, just let me know. Just let me know. Uh, I'm one. I, everything's on my phone. If you want to comment me, comment me. If you want to leave a like, like, hit subscribe button. That really appreciate me. Uh, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And uh, yeah. So uh, leave a comment below if I did really well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.